Hey guys, device specifications, specifically storage device specifications in adverts. Let's have a look and see what this is all about. So if we start off with RAM, random access memory, let's have a look at some of the specifications or the things that we look at in terms of RAM. Well, the first one is the obvious one, that is storage capacity. Storage capacity, so we get RAM like 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 8 gigs is good, 16 gigs, yes, 32 gigs, rock and roll. So we always look at the storage capacity of RAM, yes. Then we have clock speed. So like you're thinking like, what the heck is clock speed? Well, clock speed is basically the maximum number of commands that that RAM can handle per second, all right? That's the maximum number of commands it can handle per second. And we measure that in megahertz, megahertz. Then we have a DDR, okay, so we got like DDR2, DDR3, DDR4. DDR means double data rate. It basically means that it's just faster, okay? There is a lot of technology behind it. I'm not going to go into all of that. We don't need to as, as CAS students. We just know that DDR means double data rate, and DDR4 is faster than DDR3. DDR3 is faster than DDR2. You get the idea, okay? Then we have a thing called memory bandwidth. Now, memory bandwidth, that is something that has to do between the RAM and the CPU. And memory bandwidth is basically the rate at which the RAM can read and write data to and from the processor. Because the RAM and the processor work together. They have to work together. So the faster they can transfer data between each other, the better your computer is going to be. So there you go. Storage capacity, clock speed, DDR, memory bandwidth, and RGB. RGB is not really a specification of RAM. It's kind of new for like the gamers among us who wanted to show off. It's like actually having colors, colors on your RAM. Look at that. It's got colors on the RAM. Like you can really, yeah, you can do that. I've never seen that, but it's a thing. It's a real thing. Okay. Hard disk drive. Okay. So you want to get a hard disk drive and you need to know some of the specs of a HDD. Let's have a look. Well, first of all, again, like RAM, the capacity. Right, how much data can we put onto this hard disk drive? And we have capacities like 250 gigabytes, 500 gigabytes. A lot of entry-level laptops are, are there. One terabyte, very nice. Mid-range laptops are starting at one terabyte at least. And four terabytes. That would be awesome, four terabytes. I don't even have a four terabyte drive. And it carries on and on as technology gets better. Another aspect of uh, an HDD is this thing called rotation speed, okay? RPM, revolutions per minute, okay? Rotation speed is how fast the disk is spinning because that's what a hard disk drive does. That disk that you see in there, that's spinning like super fast. And here we have a, a slow one at, uh, what's that, 5,400 RPM. Then we have 7,200 RPM. And I even saw a spec for 10,000 RPM. Okay, that's gonna take a lot of juice, eh? like a lot of power, but that's gonna be fast. 10,000 revolutions per minute, that is so cool. And then, of course, the interface. Is it uh, an ATA or an IDE cable or it is a SATA cable, SATA? Okay, I want you guys to go find out what SATA and ATA and IDE stand for. That's your homework. All right, that's the interface. Oh, let me just go back. The interface is how the hard drive connects to the motherboard. That's what we're talking about there. Okay. And, of course, transfer speeds. All right, how fast can we read and write data to and from the hard drive? That's very important. But we can't just discuss the hard drive without discussing the next evolution of storage in terms of computers, and that is the solid state drive. Again, we're gonna look at the capacity, how big the, state, the solid state drive is gonna be, the read speed, which is gonna be much faster than a magnetic disk, the interface as well, and it's also got a thing called an endurance rating an endurance rating. It's kind of like the, what's that with printers? Like the life cycle of a printer, okay? So it can print so many pages in a month before it fails. So endurance rating is basically how many times you can read and write and handle this, this solid state drive in your computer until it starts to fail. So that's an endurance rating. And I think they measure that in like terabytes. They like read and write in terabytes, like which is pretty darn cool. Okay. 
So let's look at adverts. Now, if you remember a previous lesson or a previous video that we did, I looked at these ads. I'm using the same ads, so you can see it's the same stuff, okay? So here we are back on our Megatech Full Core i7 10th Gen 480 GB SSD PC. Yes, let's go to the analyzing ads. Okay, so here we can see, right, we're looking at certain specifications and we're looking specifically at storage, okay? Permanent and temporary. So we're starting off with this one. 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So we got 8 gigs of RAM, that's the capacity. DDR4 is like the speed of it, and that's pretty, pretty good. I mean, the 8 gigs DDR4 RAM, that's a pretty good spec. Right, 480 gigabytes solid state drive. Now, 480 gigs doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not that much, but when it's a solid state drive in conjunction with uh, eight gigabytes of a DDR4 RAM, that means you have a very fast computer. That's very good, very, very good. So in terms of storage, we have temporary and permanent, and the specs are there for us. We actually know what we're getting when we get this computer. Let's have a look at the Lenovo blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here we are. Let's see now, we're looking at storage again, temporary and permanent. So storage, we got, ah, RAM, four gigs. Doesn't tell us much at the start, okay. Storage capacity, a one terabyte. Hard disk drive, not a solid state drive this time. One temp, uh, one temp, because I'm reading the, this highlighter. One terabyte is actually pretty good. It's a lot of space. But now they, they break it down a bit more. So now we can really see what we're talking about. Okay, here we are. We have a four gigabyte DDR4. Okay, so four gigs of RAM, which is not a lot. But it is DDR4, which is fast. That's good. At 2,666 megahertz. Do you remember what we measured uh, earlier? That's the speed of the RAM. Okay, that's the speed of the RAM. We've also got a one terabyte hard drive. It is 7,200 RPM revolutions per minute. Okay, so that's what that tells us. So that gives us a lot more. Now that we understand what these specs are, we know what we're looking at when we read these specifications. So guys, the next time you are buying a computer, have a look at the specifications, know what to look for, and get the right thing the first time.